everybody. Uh, my name is Beverly Vasella. I am the product manager at Pixvana. Um, we are a two and a half year old startup um, out in Fremont. And we are building, get this, cloud-based end-to-end -end system for delivery and authoring of VR. That's a mouthful. We're working on it, but it's great. Um, so by delivery, I mean that we encode and render a 360 video and stream it to a headset just the same way that YouTube or Hulu or Netflix would stream right directly to your TV. And by authoring, I want you to think of Unity or Adobe Suite in the cloud, but not just in the cloud, but natively in the headset for 360 video creators. That goes forward. Okay. Why do we exist? Um, so to be honest, some days we, we feel like this. We're, we're in a headset. We're sitting on this giant rock in the middle of the city, and what the hell are we doing? This doesn't make any sense. Um, this is weird. And on the other hand, the reason why we exist is because we believe in VR, in AR, in MR, what we collectively call XR. So we believe, like Facebook and Oculus and Magic Leap, that XR has a way of transforming a life experience into something more. I'm talking about being on the goal line for the Seahawks and seeing their last touchdown of the season, hearing the crowd behind you, seeing the players right in front of your face, or being right in the middle of their huddle, or being on the top of the mountain in North Korea where supposedly the great leader descended and was like birthed from the clouds and he's standing on this mountain. There's a CNN VR video out there for you to see. It's on Rift and Go. You should check it out. I mean, I'm talking about being at a concert and being able to be right in the middle of the band and feeling the bass from the drums behind you or at the same time hyperporting right in the middle of the audience and feeling the energy of the crowd right around you. It's really cool. Um, all of us at Pixvana have felt this experience and we know that there's more out there. Okay, so I'm gonna talk a little bit about um, what it's like to make VR video and what we're trying to solve. So if you are into creating VR video and you're a creator, you're gonna start with one of these bad boys. And this is a 360 camera anywhere from two to 17 lenses. You're gonna hire a production crew, post-production, you're gonna set this thing in some event somewhere where you're afraid someone's gonna kick it over, but you need that 360 footage, and you're gonna take that video. And what you want is that. You wanna get it to your audience in the headset and for them to think it looks awesome. And there's a lot of steps to get there. Um, so we're probably gonna start by buying one of these guys. These is, this is a really expensive gaming computer. It's gonna get you in the hole a few thousand bucks. You already hired a team to make that production, so you've got that going. Um, you're gonna take tweezers and take the SD cards out of that camera one by one and somehow arrange that footage, get, use the camera stitcher and get something like this, but that's not really viewable. Um, you need to composite an image out of all these lenses. Uh, level the horizon, exposure compensation, color correction, what have you. It takes a lot of time. Um, to get something to look awesome in the headset, it needs to be super high resolution. So we've been trying to get folks to shoot an 8K and above, and that's expensive and a, a ton of data to move around. You're going to render it, and that's going to take overnight for each scene. You're also going to use a host of other software to add in all your special effects, because you're a filmmaker and you want this to look really good. You know about cinema. You know what makes a good story. And finally, how are you going to get this on the, in front of the eyeballs of your audience, you're probably gonna hire a developer, a Unity developer, an Unreal Engine developer. You're gonna make an app. You're probably gonna get it into the store in Steam or Oculus or Google Play, and that takes a few months. So why is anybody doing this anyway? Oh God, one minute. Okay, um, let me talk about what Pixvana does. So Pixvana, first of all, we are cloud-based. Um, everybody here I'm sure understands cloud means you can spin up as many of those awesome computers as you want. Um, we can parallelize all these processes for you. We have a solution called casting, um, where we do cloud delivery of all this content. So you upload it to us and we send it directly to the headset. All your audience has to do is get this out from the App Store, it's free. You pair the device to your Spin Studio account and you cast it. It's really fast, it's streaming, it's great. Uh, we also have a cloud stitcher. Uh, we support a whole bunch of cameras. You, we do all the exposure compensation and leveling for you. Um, your raw media is already in the cloud, so don't take it back out because 
we also have a native in-headset editor. And what this is like is you stitch all your media, you have your clips, you're gonna go in the headset, and you're gonna say, I'm gonna take my hyperport tool and put a hyperport there to the next scene. I'm gonna make this interactive, I'm gonna make this interesting, and that is all done WYSIWYG without knowing any coding, which is really fun. Um, we have been showing this last piece to our early adopters in this is the feedback we get. This is what it feels like. It's the minority report. This is exactly what you're in the headset, you're creating this video and you're in the environment that your viewers are actually seeing. And that's really special. We're first to market to come out with a native and headset editor. Um, so for us, in terms of next steps, um, we are going to market uh, in mid-September. Um, we're doing a roadshow to show the authoring suite. The delivery side has been done for some time. We'll be going to a few major cities and inviting all the creators and production agencies. Boop, boop. Um, trainer, boop, boop. thank boop, you. Boop. Um, E-learning, um, government agencies, all those that have expressed an interest in creating and showing VR content. Um, so, and ask from you, if you are at all interested in VR, come talk to me. Uh, we've never turned down a hire that was a great fit for our company. Um, we're always looking for engineers and product managers. Um, so uh, I think that's it. I think I made it. It's time for questions. <laughs> uh, yes, go ahead. So is the Samsung 360 supported? Yes, yes it is, yes. So you. Do I have my own camera? I have a, a Fusion, Pixvana, oh, okay. We, have, we actually have lots of cameras. We have a, a, an arm of our business. Uh, they're a, pro, a 360 production agency, so they make a ton of content that uh, is super high quality, super high resolution. They test out our product, and we give them, uh, we give them software to help along um, their productions as well. So when we first started, there was no high quality content out there and we realized we had to make our own. This has returned lots and lots of dividends. We love being a creative agency as well as a software company. Yeah. Sorry, you had a question? Um, curious, do you guys have backgrounds in VR or AR before you started? Very few of us did. Um, we hail from ver various different backgrounds. Some of us are from Apple, Adobe. Um, our CEO, Forrest, is a serial entrepreneur in the Seattle area. Um, so no, we had a lot to learn, all of us, when we first joined, and that is not a barrier to being part of Pixmono. We're all learning, um, and so there's a lot more, um, a lot more involvement of the industry to go. Right. Yes. Uh, so, uh, you probably want to be on Wi-Fi. It's a lot of data. Um, so, so our app. So we we have a few different product areas. We have a core web product called Spin Studio and a companion app called Spin Play, and that's available in all the different VR app stores: Steam, Oculus, Google. Um, so you would have a, a VR headset, this is a Daydream headset, so that's your phone. You would download that app, put it in the headset, connect it to an account in Spin Studio, and you would be cast that content. And on the Oculus Go, which is not a mobile phone, um, you would just download the, download the app from the Oculus Store from within the headset itself. Yeah. All right, put your hands together again for Pixvana.